Quick, DevBot, scan the room and tell me what you can make of this situation. Working. Working. It turns out the only programming I have is to respond to your auditory cues, and the knowledge that the government is actually run by lizard people. Yes, I was thinking the same thing, DevBot. It seems whoever killed her did so with a stab to the back and either escaped through the window or door. But, considering we got here almost immediately, it seems odd that both the door was closed and locked, and the window doesn't seem to have been opened. And, to make matters even more confusing, it seems the weapon is nowhere in sight. Maybe we should ask the people nearby if they saw anything. This woman inside was stabbed in the back, and the perpetrator seems to have escaped. Oh my god. You have blood on your sword. <coughs> Oops, looks like I forgot to wipe that off. Jet fuel can't melt steel beams, Dave. Boy, I sure am nervous about this baking competition. Darn, it looks like we just missed the competition. I knew we shouldn't have stopped to recharge your batteries. We didn't stop, Dave. We flew straight here from the hideout. Haha. <laughs> Dev, you and your racist jokes. I didn't tell a joke. You just ignore me and say random things. You're right, I probably would have won anyway. The Illuminati control the media. I need you two to go into the air and find out what's been going on. And, if possible, kill the Dreadlord. We're actually here to root out the communists in the area in the glorious name of democracy. Holy crap, did that robot just talk to me? Yeah, that's just Dev. He's actually the result of me ripping the soul out of a human's body and placing it inside a robot I built. That's not true. You just built me with a few pre-rendered replies to auditory cues. Dev, you scared the guy off talking about how jet fuel can't melt steel beams. You know people don't like to hear the truth about our government. I said no such thing. My joke was a quip about McCarthyism. Not about the fact that our government planned an attack against its own people to go to war over oil. Although there's a high chance that human went to notify the warlocks and Red Lord. I hope you're prepared to fight a small army. Why do you cross through my domain? I was on my way to the store to buy snacks and got lost. You ended up in the Twisting Nether on your way to the store? Hey, the old one I used to go to closed down and I'm not used to walking to this new one yet. You wouldn't happen to know where I could buy some hot Cheetos, would you? Not regular Cheetos, mind you. The flaming hot ones. The cheese ones taste like crap. God, I totally know what you mean. I also can't go back to regular hot Cheetos ever since they brought back the extra spicy ones. They brought those back? When? I think it was a few months back. I tried eating a regular bag of hot Cheetos once when the store was out of the extra hot, and it was just... not the same. Damn, I miss those extra hot Cheetos. I'll have to see if this new store has them. Why does that army of demons look so strange and unreal? Because, Dev, as I said in the last video, this series doesn't get very many views, and making an army of demons with 3D models would require way more effort than it's worth. Please spare me. I'll give you whatever you want. Anything, you say. Yes, anything you want. I can't believe you let him go for a top hat. And I can't believe you complained the whole time. You can create mage portals? Sure, but only to Dollar Ren. I wandered into a twisty nether by accident once, and a nice guy who shared my taste in snack foods taught me. Devbot, we're going to the moon today to play Alien Hunters. Greetings, humanoid creatures. It's been ages since I've had anyone visit me here. Tars, go assault mode and take her out. Affirmative. Hey Devbot, remember the day we met? You know, that was kind of fun. I've never fought a human as strong as you. After I kill all your friends, I'll come back and fix you up just right. Then we can go fishing or something. And ever since that day, we've been best friends. That's not what happened at all. Can you see me? Great. It looks like it was a success. You should be fully charged by tomorrow. But I'm afraid I don't have much time. There's, there's no way to reverse the madness. So this is my last day on Earth. I'm scared, Devbot. I don't want to disappear. It will be okay, Dave. I'll watch over you. 
Dev, you and your made-up stories about the Illuminati controlling the world banks. That was not a made-up story. The Illuminati really do control the world banks. You'd be ignorant to think otherwise. The evidence is all around us. This is quite the predicament we're in, DevBot. How are we going to escape this jail cell? You could always just make a portal to Dalaran. The boss told me to keep an eye on you too. To make sure you didn't get into any trouble. Would you mind leaving on your own now? I don't really want to deal with more trouble. No, we can't leave yet. We came here to stop the New World Order. So, it's you two again. It's too late, Dave. I've already gone back and brought three Archimons from three different timelines. There's no stopping me now. What a contrived plot convenience. A what? A plot convenience. This all seems like a totally contrived plot device just to get some conflict in the story. Three major villains just appear out of nowhere thanks to a time machine? That's just lazy writing. Okay, great. Jim is here. Now we can take out our enemy. Great, let's go! Great job! We did it! I got lucky, I guess. My only function is to respond to auditory cues with pre-recorded auditory replies. No! You haven't seen the last of me! We will stop you next time, Dreadlord! Yeah, I'm not letting you get away. 9-11 was an inside job. Remember the time you took out that peaceful village for no reason? Devbot, I found the lair of the lizard people. Those are the Jinyu. Right, we need to attack them. Why? Because. That's not an explanation. You can't just attack a village of Jinyu for no reason. The Jinyu are actually quite peaceful. For now, charge! <laughs> Luckily, the lizard people didn't put up much of a fight. They kept feeding me lies, like, We aren't lizard people! Why are you doing this to us? Dave, you know, you're kind of evil. Oh, Dev, sometimes sacrifices must be made for the greater good. But what you just did has nothing to do with that. Well, you're not that much better. You killed Eloon. You're right. Are we the bad guys? What? No, no, of course not. Um, guys? Do you know what that thing in the sky is? It's the Illuminati. Did you guys do something weird again lately? Of course not. We take our jobs very seriously. Alright, what the fuck just happened? It seems we were teleported into another dimension by the Illuminati. Now that I think about it, this might have something to do with Enzoth. Hey DevBot, let's have some fun! What did you have in mind? Oh, I don't know. I'm bored being on standby and waiting around all day. So I thought it'd be fun if we released an old god from its prison. Sure, I'm down for that. Did you get the necessary things for our summoning? Yes, I went out and found the Book of Mediv. All we need are some couple thousand human sacrifices. It's fine, we can just use some of my blood. I absorbed the loon's power, I'm basically a god now. Okay, I guess. Why, hello there. Are you an old god? I believe that's what you mortals refer to me as, so yeah. Would you like to help me destroy the Illuminati? Are they still a thing? I believe they are in hibernation or something. I can go ahead and wake them up if you want. You know, you're a lot nicer than I thought you'd be. Yeah, I thought for sure we'd have to fight you or something. Oh, I hope not, you two have been nothing but pleasant. Are you even really an old god? I thought they were supposed to be incredibly powerful and crazy. Well, I mean, that fits my other comrades to a T, but I prefer the finer things tonight. You and me both. Well, I think it's time for me to go. Where are you going? I need to find some new minions, build an army, create chaos and madness, you know, the usual. I know, tell me about it. You two summoned an old god into the world? Yep. He was super nice, too. God damn it. I'm going to get in so much trouble for not stopping that. Quit being a baby. We've got more important matters to worry about right now. 
I guess I should probably go rescue Dave and Jim. They should still be stuck in that one cave. Alright, and with the end of this video, I should announce that Season 2 will start up next week. I thought this video would be necessary, seeing as the last episode of Season 1 aired about 8 months ago. So instead of having to go back and watch all of the first season, uh, you can just watch this video instead, and go straight into Season 2. I also made a super cut of the first season which I'll link on screen, that just edits together the entire first season, then cuts out some unimportant parts and adds in a few things. That video is about 30 minutes, and can only be viewed with the link since I don't plan on making it go live. If you want to see the first episode of the second season right away, I have it up on my Patreon already. It's free to see now. But for all the other episodes, you can only view them early with the Patreon pledge but they will all still come out on the channel eventually, so you don't gotta pay for anything. Patreon's only if you want to see them early. I also have like episodes two and three up, I think, as well. Early versions of them though, I'm gonna change them a little bit before they go live. <laughs>